So today we are going to solve some questions on the right angled triangle. Now the right angled triangle is a triangle in which one of its angles is 90 degrees. Now let's consider this right angled triangle. That is the triangle ABC. We have the side AC to be X, AB to be Y, and then BC to be Z. And we have the angle ABC to be 90 degrees. And that is the right angle. So now, to find the length of each of the sides of this right angle triangle, we are going to fall on the Pythagoras theorem. Now, the Pythagoras theorem states that for any right angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Thus, we have x squared equals y squared plus z squared. So for any right angled triangle, according to the Pythagoras theorem, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Now let's call this equation 1. So if you want to find the value of x, then x is simply the square root of y square plus z square. And also to find the side of a right angled triangle, we need to know the values of at least two of the sides of that right angle triangle so as to help you to find the third side. Now using this information, let's try to solve a few examples. So let's take our very first example. Example 1. Find the value of x in the diagram below. Find the value of x in the diagram below. Now in this diagram, we have a right angle triangle. The length of AB is x plus 2 centimeters. AC is x plus 4 centimeters and then we have BC to be x centimeters. Now we are going to use Pythagoras theorem to find the value of x. So from Pythagoras theorem, we know that the square of the hypotenuse for any right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So from Pythagoras theorem, AC square is equal to AB square plus bc squared. Now let's put in the values of ab, bc and then ac. So for ac we have x plus 4 all square equals ab we have x plus 2 all square plus x squared. Now let's simplify. x plus 4 all square is the same as x plus 4 times x plus 4. So we have x times itself, that is x squared, plus x times 4 is 4x, and then 4 times x is also 4x. So 4x plus 4x is 8x. And then 4 times 4 is 16. And that is equal to, we have x times itself, that is x squared, x times 2x is 2x, 2 times x is also 2x. So 2x plus 2x is 4x plus 2 times 2 is 4 plus x squared. So we are going to have x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals x squared plus x squared. We have 2x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now let's transpose all the terms on the left hand side to the right hand side. So we have 2x squared minus x squared plus 4x minus 8x plus 4 minus 16 equals 0. So 2x squared minus x squared we have x squared and then 4x minus 8x we have negative 4x. 
and then 4 minus 16 we have negative 12 and that is equal to 0. Now the coefficient of the x squared term is 1, coefficient of the constant term is negative 12. So factors of negative 12 we have 1 times negative 12, 2 times negative 6 and then we are looking for the factors of negative 12 that add up to negative 4 and then multiply to negative 12. So we can use or we can select 2 and then negative 6. So we are going to have x squared plus 2x minus 6x minus 12 equals 0. Here we can factor out. So let's factor out x and then we have x plus 2 in the bracket minus we can factor out 6 so negative 6 into brackets we have x plus 2 so we have x minus 6 and then x plus 2 equals 0 x minus 6 equals 0 x equals 6 and then x plus 2 equals 0 x equals negative 2 now we have x equals 6 x equals negative 2. Therefore, since x is positive, or better still, x is greater than 0, we say that x is equal to 6. The value of x cannot be a negative value. It has to be a positive value. Therefore, we have x equals 6. Now let's solve a more complex example. So for example 2, in the diagram below the angle PQR is equal to PRS which is 90 degrees. The length PS is 10 centimeters, PQ is 3 centimeters and then QR is 4 centimeters. Find the length RS. So this is the length RS. So to find the length of a side of a right angle triangle, especially if you are going to use the Pythagoras theorem, then you need to know at least two of the sides of that particular right angle triangle. Now we are going to find the side RS. We have the side PS which is 10 centimeters, but we don't know the length of the side PR. So in order to find this length, we need to make sure that we have the value of this length. So using this right angled triangle, that is the triangle PQR, first of all we are going to find the length of the side PR which happens to be the hypotenuse. Notice that always the longest side which is the hypotenuse is the side facing the right angle. So always the longest side is the side facing the right angle. So let's find the length PR. So from triangle P, Q, R, and then using the Pythagoras theorem, the length P, R square is equal to the length P, Q square plus Q, R square. Now we have PQ to be 3 centimeters. So we have 3 square plus QR to be 4 centimeters. So 4 square. And then this becomes 9 plus 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. Therefore, PR is equal to the square root of 25 and that is equal to 5. Therefore, Therefore, we have the length PR equals 5 centimeters. Now, since we know the value of PS and then PR, we can find the length of the side RS. So, from triangle PRS, we have the length PS 
square equals PR square plus RS square. So PS is 10. So we have 10 square equals PR is 5. 5 square plus RS square. Now let's transpose 5 square to the left hand side. 10 square is 100. And then 5 square is 25. So this is equal to RS square. 100 minus 25 is 75. So we have RS square equals 75. And then RS is equal to the square root of 75. And that is equal to 5 root 3 centimeters. So that is the length of the side RS. 5 root 3 centimeters. Now let's solve one application question. So to question 3. A ladder 9 meters long leans against a wall. If the foot of the ladder is 5 meters away from the wall, how far up the wall does the ladder reach? Here the first thing we are going to do is to draw a diagram from the question that we have. So from this question, let's draw a diagram to represent what we have. Now a ladder 9 meters long leans against a wall. So let's assume that this is the wall. We have this to be the wall. And we are told that a ladder 9 meters long leans against a wall. So this is the ladder. 9 meters long and it leans against the wall. Now if the foot of the ladder is 5 meters away from the wall, so this is the foot of the ladder. So we are told that the foot of the ladder is 5 meters away from the wall. So we have 5 meters. How far up the wall does the ladder reach? So we are going to find the length of this side. So let's label this diagram. We have A, B, and then C. So basically we are going to find the length or the height AB. So from Pythagoras theorem, now even before that, the height of the wall is perpendicular to the ground okay to the distance between the foot of the ladder and the wall that is why we can use the Pythagoras theorem so we have AC square equals AB square plus BC square now we have AC to be 9 so we have 9 square equals a B square plus B C. Now B C is 5 meters. So we have 5 square. 9 square is 81. That's equal to A B square plus 25. So here we have 81 minus 25. And that's equal to A B square now 81 minus 25 is 56 so 56 equals a b square now we take the square root of both sides the square cancels the square root we have a b to be equal to the square root of 56 and that is equal to 2 times the square root of 14 and then if you want to leave your answer to two decimal places, then that is equal to 7.48, that is to two decimal places. So that is the length AB. So basically, 
the ladder reaches the 7.48 meters mark on the wall. So the height AB is 7.48 meters. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.